Coast's chief meteorologist, Chris Boone. Well, a lot of people looking forward to Memorial Day weekend, and it is going to be a hot one. We'll see triple digits for the majority of the area. We'll see those breezy conditions. Winds really starting to pick up from the southwest. So definitely any plans you have for this Memorial Day weekend, definitely want to either make them indoors or make sure you have a way to keep cool. If you are going to be outdoors, make sure you take plenty of breaks. We saw plenty of clear skies across the area. That allowed for more of that sunshine to heat up the area. That trend continues going in towards the rest of the weekend as well. We again topped out at 98, so certainly above average, shy of the record. Again, just by about 10 degrees, and not going to get anywhere close to that as we go in towards the next couple of days. But we will break over 100, and those overnight lows, those are also going to warm up as well. So again, those 60s, comfortable temperatures, will be only getting down into the 70s because of those warm afternoons. In fact, 83 right now in downtown San Angelo, dew point in the lower 50s. Those winds relatively quiet. We've seen those calmer winds across the day. And as we go into tomorrow, though, those winds are really going to start to pick up, gusting up to 30 miles per hour at times. Again, mid 80s across the area, 85 in Brady, 85 in Coleman as well, 86 for Menard, Eden, and Ballinger. Again, basically the entire uh, parts of the eastern uh, Concho Valley seeing those temperatures in those mid 80s. So still hanging on to those warmer temperatures as we go into the overnight hours tonight. Temperatures dropping down into the low 70s. Mostly calm sky, mostly calm winds and clear skies. We'll look at those winds to really start to pick up during the late morning hours. We do have a heat advisory in effect for us here in Tom Green County and San Angelo. We'll be topping out at 103 with those mostly clear skies. Winds are still coming more out of the south and southwest. We'll see the gustier conditions during the afternoon hours. You know, we're seeing those winds could get up to 30 miles per hour. That's going to continue going for your Sunday as well as Monday. So again, no real relief from the winds until we get to the overnight hours. And it's all because of this upper level ridge. Again, that's strengthened over parts of the western United States as well as the central plains. And that high dome of pressure really allows, again, those clear skies to continue and those temperatures to begin climbing up. As we get into next week, we'll start to see a dip in the jet stream. Low pressure starts to work its way in towards the western parts of the United States. That's going to allow for some cooler temperatures, slightly cooler at least. And it's also going to add for a little bit of instability. That could be giving us some rain chances as we go in towards the middle of next week. Otherwise, your heat advisory for tomorrow, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Again, temperatures could be getting well above 100. And this is going to be mostly for those northern parts of the Concho Valley. Again, out towards Tom Green County, Ronalds County, Coat as well as Sterling. Again, that's because of those temperatures topping 100. And then we'll see very similar temperatures going into your Sunday as well. So it's going to be a hot one. So definitely make sure you have ways to keep cool. And today's winning with the weather winner is Linda El Morsi. Again, congratulations. You win a giant a water slide. So certainly one of those ways to be keeping cool this summer. Again, temperatures going to stay in the summer-like for the weekend and going in towards next week. We'll see a slight cool down by the middle of next week with those rain chances getting very isolated in nature. Winning with the weather is sponsored by Concho Valley ER.